everybody's dancing with the enemy in this episode. Hey there, it's Kristen, and today we are talking about High School Musical, the musical, the series, season two, episode seven. It's North High versus East High, and there's a lot of shocking reveals. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on High School Musical, the musical, the series, and where the season has been going so far. North High and East High have been having really more virtual drama. We're seeing a lot of North High just like dropping these Instagram bombs that are just shaking the East High cast, whether it be the fact that they're doing the same music as them or showing off their costumes and they just keep doing things that are like continuing this rivalry so it seems like a little bit more than a coincidence when Courtney is showing the East High cast their costumes that she's made so far and the North High is debuting their like Broadway caliber costumes online and then the East High beast mask is missing. It's like, hmm, what is going on here? Miss Jen wants them to kind of like rise above and move on and focus on something else and not dance with the enemy, so to speak. Instead, everybody's dancing with the enemy in this episode. So we have the East High crew, the Wildcats show up at North High, and wow, just being able to see the difference in the school. Like, North High looked like a castle. They're trying to check out their costumes, see if they really did steal the beast mask. They get spotted and the North High crew led by Lily challenges them to a dance battle to the mob song from Beauty and the Beast, a remix version of it, which was really funny. The North High crew is really interested in getting in everybody's head. You have Lily who's kind of making Ricky question Nini and the Rose song that she wrote. Ricky is feeling like, okay, actually, you know, yeah, I know we're not doing it, this song as a duet anymore, but also do these words like represent how you feel about our relationship. So Lily definitely got in his head there. Um, but also, Maybe she's right. And then the French exchange student get a Ashlyn's head about Big Red and how he doesn't think that they should be together and maybe she should date him. We get to see this big dance battle, which I would love to hear who do you guys think won North High or East High, but you get to see the two beasts go up against each other, the two Lumieres, the two Bells, and then it kind of all stops when Ashlyn almost falls and gets hurt. And then as East High is leaving, we get this big reveal that I was kind of hoping for, but I'm not sure where it's gonna go next, which is that Howie is actually a North High student and is the one playing Beast in their production of Beat and the Beast. And when Courtney finds out about that, she's not really cool with it. And you know, she kinda has this realization that like, she doesn't really know Howie. I would like to think that they're having a little Romeo Juliet situation where, you know, he does actually care about her and was not trying to get in her head and that they'll be able to like work it out because I did think that they were really cute together. But you know, this is like a pretty shocking realization that like, Howie's technically on the North High team. He's on Lily's team. So do you guys think that Howie was trying to mess with Courtney or do you think that he's genuine? Spinning off of that, we also get, as I predicted, a dance number between Miss Jen and Zach. When it comes to this musical number, as well as a lot of the musical numbers we've gotten this season so far, I feel like they play it a little bit too safe. You know, they're literally just dancing in the classroom. I think it would have been really cool if they kind of pull them out of the class and into a fantasy moment where they're in costumes. Maybe they're on a set or on a stage. And I have been feeling that way actually for the last few weeks with a bunch of the songs that they've done. Courtney's Beauty and the Beast, Ashlyn's Home. I just think that they could have done something a little bit more exciting. Now by the end of this performance it seems like, all right, Miss Jen, Zach, maybe they'll get back together. But as Miss Jen goes over to the piano and wants to pull out sheet music for another song, she finds the Beast mask. And it turns out it was not the cat of North High that stole it, but actually Zach himself, to continue building this competition and war between the two schools. So really you can see the entire North High team, from the director to the cast, are really trying to get into the East High team's head. They're really messing with them, and I think it works. It looks like next episode there's going to be a lot of relationship drama, who knows what's going on with Nini and Ricky anymore, and you know, the fact that Zach is the one that took that beast mask, I think just means that like, anything is really possible, like you could, I could really see like, when we actually get to the Mankeys, the North High team trying to undercut everybody and maybe even getting disqualified because of them doing things that they shouldn't be doing to mess with the competition. And speaking of Nini and Ricky, we get two more reveals here. The first is that Nini's original song would actually disqualify them from the Mankeys because they have to be true to the actual production. So that's kind of this bomb that Lily drops on them that is like, oh gosh, now what are they going to do? You know, this is the song that was going to make them stand out as something different, but if it's going to disqualify them, like, what is the purpose? And I'm curious if they're going to just go with the show as is because they're interested in competing and winning or if they're going to be like, you know what? We don't care about the winning. This is about our friendship and our family. And I think that's something that they're going to end up discovering by the end of the season. You know, maybe 
maybe it's not about the competition. Maybe it's them as a family doing a production that they feel proud of. And then the second reveal is Nini's new music career. So you know, Ricky hasn't been supporting her music. He hasn't been interested in this song that he thinks is, you know, how she really feels about the relationship, which it kind of is, because he's been very suffocating, I think, this season, and very difficult to be around, even as a viewer watching. So I think Nene has been kind of dealing with that and recognizing that and is ready to go on and do her own thing. She launches an Instagram page to put her own original music in and instead of going by Nini, which is the nickname that Ricky had created for her when they were young, she goes by Nina. And I felt like this was a really powerful moment to just show that she is branching out as her own person and she doesn't need to be confined or held back by this person um, or live kind of underneath Ricky's shadow. If she wants to get into her own solo music, that's what she wants to do and she's not going to let anyone hold her back. And I thought that was really awesome. One other thing I wanted to mention about this episode was that there were a lot of cute Gina and EJ moments. I really enjoy their friendship. We get to see them co-host the Good Morning East High Morning Show, which was really fun. And they have a couple of moments where, you know, EJ pretends to be her boyfriend, so a guy will leave her alone. And, you know, they just seem to have a lot of chemistry together. And it's fun to see Team Wonder Studies reunited. Maybe they'll form a relationship, maybe they won't, but right now I'm really loving their dynamic together. When it comes down to it, this was a really fun episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series. I really enjoyed getting a chance to see North High, go there, see how different it is from East High. It was really interesting to dive a little bit more into the mindset of this school where they just seem to be very conniving and sneaky and that's all of them are, are that way. They're trying to mess with East High and throw them off their game. I think this episode had a lot of really shocking moments that I was really excited about like the Howie reveal. I was like hoping that it would happen and then it did and I was like oh, Howie he's at North High um, and then seeing Nini or should I say Nina, really step out into her own. Like I said, it looks like next week we're gonna be getting into some serious relationship drama. Could this be the episode where Nini and Ricky break up? Maybe they'll go through some changes on their own and get back together later on down the line, or maybe, you know, Nini will go off and do her own thing, form her own music career, which honestly seems like it's kind of paralleling Olivia Rodrigo's own trajectory musically, which is really cool. I'm always down for new Nini songs because hers are always so incredible. If you guys like this one, you can check out more of my High School Musical, the musical, the series reviews right over here, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!